Hey everybody, it's Wax Fraud here. I really appreciate you coming back for the sixth episode of this series. Um, also, I mean, I can't even begin to express how appreciative appreciative I am of you guys for just supporting the series overall. I really, I love it. I, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, anyways, as you can see, made a little bit of a, an enchanting room. I actually had to, since I lost all my diamonds, I took the three diamonds that I had, made a quick pickaxe, went and found a couple more, made the enchanting table, first enchantment I got, fortune three, efficiency four, and unbreaking three, as you can see. Kind of nice. In the last episode, um, it got a little bit crazy in the nether, so today we're just going to be chilling in the overworld, probably going to be taking the villagers from that Village Beyond, the one over there, if you can remember from, I think it was the second episode, but we're going to be going over there and bringing them over here because there are two lecterns over there and we need a mending book. We need mending books bad and probably uh, some other types of books. We'll be turning some villagers into um, some librarians and um, honestly, I'm probably going to be, be building that windmill behind me because I just want to spend some time in the overworld today after the experience in the nether. Uh, the nether. Wow, I cannot talk today. Uh, anyways, it was just, it was, it was a weird experience. Let's just hang out down here. Um, yeah, I mean, let's just get the episode started. So first thing we got to do today is head back down into the shaft and find the pocket of diamonds that we had found in order to just make the enchanting table, I want to go back and use this Forging 3 pickaxe on it so that we don't really have to worry about diamonds for a while. And then we'll probably find a couple more pockets and then head right back up and do some enchanting. I know it's down one of these. Is it this one? No. Yes. Hello, sir. I will be taking you. Okay, how many was that? All right, so we got 12. Not bad, actually. We basically just doubled it. There was six right there. Let's, uh, let's just find a couple more and head back up. I see you, diamonds. I'm coming to get you. Please be more than one. Oh. Is that it? That's it. We got 20. Not bad. Wow, so I was just getting ahead of myself here, but uh, yeah, I mean, we got some iron smelting. We pulled away with a bunch of diamonds. Uh, we found a couple pockets of like five or six, and with the fortune three pickaxe, obviously, I mean, you're gonna come away with a bunch, but I started making my sword and my pants, and then I realized I'm not even recording, so I'm gonna finish off by making the helmet, and I definitely would need a chest plate, and I definitely need some boots. And let's so, I mean, we have 14 left over now, so let's just throw these back. I am not even going to risk uh, anything. Any, like, I'm, I'm gonna play it a little bit more safe. I need a couple of these. Um, I need to gather, gather a little bit more XP, actually. I wanna try to get to at least level 39 so that uh, we can do at least like three level three enchantments. Um, I mean, let's see what we got first off with the sword. I kind of want to see if we can get some looting three on the sword. Oh, I forgot the lapis. Of course, of course, the lapis. Oh, I need to get organized. Oh, it's right here, of course. The first chest that I checked. All right, let's see what we got on the sword. Oops. Sharpness four. Let's do it. Let's just see what we got with it. Sharpness four, knockback two. <sighs> Not bad. Let's see... We'll try later. Let's see if we can get Unbreaking 3 on the chest plate. Let's see what we can do. Unbreaking 3 and Protection 3. Not bad, fella. Not bad. All right, so let's... Oh, we still have another over 30. Let's see if we can get some boots on here. Put some lapis up in there. And then Protection 3 on the boots. Blast Protection 3. Feather Falling 1. Let's try this out. Ah, uh, only protection three. Okay, not bad. All right, so let's get some XP from the cow farm that we got going on over there. So we're going to need some wheat and some seeds. Let's just replant these real quick. And as you can see, we have far too many cows here. Far too many cows. Okay, this is just out of hand. I'm gonna have to... Let's see here. Um, that was just out of control. Uh, okay, let's just turn friendly creatures down a little bit. Still pretty loud, but wow. 
Can we get to level 30? But Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is ridiculous, you guys. You, come on, you'll all get your turn. This is... Whoa, buddy. Oh my god, this is just absolutely insane. This is... What, did I, what have I created here? Oh, they can get out. Oh my god, they're like dying. They're dying. What is going on here? Okay, I'm putting it away. Go back in there. Get back in there, buddy. Get back in there. Alright, some of you guys are gonna have to go. Alright, so I noticed that there was a couple up in this loft up here, and I realized, actually... That there are so many stuck in that. There's so many stuck in here. If I open this trap door, they're gonna explode out, so... Let's just see what happens. Oh my god. There's so many stuck in there. Close. There's still so many in there. Get out. Why? That was far too loud. But we are at level 31, so we should have enough to hopefully... Oh man, I really hope this is a good enchantment, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's put some on our... Actually, do we have... We don't have anything on our helmet. Let's just see. I want to get, like, fire protection. We need fire protection because, obviously, the nether. Fire protection three! That's what I'm talking about. I will, I will happily put that on my legs. Yes! All right, so I think that's enough for now. What we should do is actually focus on getting a mending book. And so, okay, if I can go down... What is happening? What's happening here? Get me down there. What? Anyways, as I was saying, I'm about to hop over to that other village all the way over yonder and grab a... Basically, both of those villagers that are actually living over there and both lecterns, turn them into librarians and bring them back to this village. And uh, I'm gonna have to build them a small home. Wonder if I can just... I don't know. We'll, f we'll figure it out. Let's go. Alright, and I haven't seen the villagers yet. I wonder if they're in here. Well, I hear them now. Oh, they're both the librarians now. Perfect. Hello! I'm actually gonna... I have some boats. I'm gonna turn you into boats there you go buddy and oh and they oh please get in the boat sir get in the boat saya come on there we go just one swipe of the sword no come on buddy i know you want in the boat oh they're both just gonna get in this boat no okay Sorry about that. Ooh, do not want to be doing that. Okay, no, no, no! Get in the boat, sir. Uh, come on! There we go. Alright, you're in. No! Okay, we're gonna do this. We're just gonna do this one at a time. I do not want to hurt you anymore. Get in the boat. Okay, you're in. Now I'm gonna get in. Alright, we're just gonna... This is gonna be a long journey, but we're gonna do it. Oh, we're almost to the water. Come on. Yeah. Okay. All right. Smooth sailing from here. Let's take him back home. Uh. Oh, we should have taken the lectern. All right. We'll we'll get we'll grab the lecterns with the other guy. You stay right there. I'm grabbing your friend. All right, other guy, get in the boat. Yeah. Okay. Let me get in with you. Let's just, let's take, let's make this nice and easy, bud. Let's just go home and have a good time. Wait, oops, uh, they gotta grab your lecterns. Let me out. What's going on here? Whoa, okay. I just want out. There we go. That was weird. Let's grab these lecterns. I need a silk touch pickaxe. That's what, it's definitely what I need to get next. But I also need to enchant the helmet as well. What do we need to get rid of, actually? Let's just, we don't need all these seeds. Definitely need the lectern. This is great. Alright, so one at a time here. Let's get you guys out of the boats. Start walking around, buddy. There you go. How about you get in the new boat, buddy? Yeah! Alright, so let's swing back home as quickly as we can. It is about to be nighttime. Slowly but surely. 
Get him just a little bit closer to the village. Okay, so let's just... There you go, bud. You're home. The village is right here. Go home. Go home. Yeah, he's going. Alright, I gotta go back for the other guy as soon as I go to sleep. I don't want any mobs coming around while I'm riding the boat. Oh, come on, bud. Come on. Alright, I have to go to sleep. Is there a bed right here? There totally is. You, I know you want to sleep right here, dude. Yeah, he's coming. He's taking the bait. He's taking the bait. Alright, so you sleep there, bud. You're welcome to the new town. Should be able to make it in time. Oops. There we go. Time for some sleepy sleeps. And I'm really hoping the other villager is right here. You still here, but Yeah. Nice to see ya. Very nice to see ya. Okay. Let's get you home. Okay, bud. Let's get you closer. Come on. Get in the boat. Oh, get in the boat. How about you get in this boat? There, there you go. And the long trek begins. Actually, it's, it's only about two minutes. And we are here. Let's get you out, bud. Welcome to the town. Welcome to the town. Follow me. Nope. Yep. Come on. No. No. Yeah, all right. Let's try again. Let's get you a little closer. The other villagers seem to have just wandered right over here as well. Oh, you both want to be in the boat. Okay, I see. All right, I got to get you out without hurting you. There we go. All right, you're home. Please don't run away. So what we need to do is actually make some more beds for these guys. I don't have any wool. I need to find some sheep. Well, there's got to be some sheep over here. There's a wo Oh, there's a dog. Do I have any bones? I don't. I'll come back for you. I'll be back for you, buddy. I'll be back for you. Usually when there's wolves, though, there's sheep around. I don't think I've been this far this way on the beach yet. Seems like a likely place that sheep would be spawning, but I haven't seen a single sheep yet. Oh, all right, we found a shipwreck. Gonna have to explore while we're here. Seems decent sized. I think we brought the axe. And there's no chance of drowning. You can see the other one right from here. What are the odds? Oh, there's a chest right here already. Oh, buried treasure map again. It, it might be the same one. Let's check if it's the same one. It most undoubtedly, it it has to be. Yeah, it's that same one. We're literally on the map of it still. All right. So I saw the other chest down in here. Oh my goodness. So much. Get rid of the potatoes. Who needs the the one thing of beef. That's amazing. Let's get out of here. Yes. Alright, so, I mean, that's a bunch of iron. Could have done with that at the beginning of the game. There's a sweet little lava run over here behind that pig. I see pigs, but give me sheep. Oh, another... I, need, I definitely need silk touch for this. Whoa, there's just... The woods are just burning down over here. Chickens. No sheep, though. Come on. Where are the sheep at? No, I spot- No! What are you doing, you- No! I have to- I'm literally about to run all the way back to this village. I should have just taken his bed. Is there a sheep up there? There is a sheep! I see you! Of course, all of this at the end of the day. Alright, follow me, buddy. Come on. Can you go in the water? Yeah, you will. Come on, buddy. Let's go. They both came back. I can't believe it. No. Do you know how hard it was to get you over here? I'm taking your beds. You're just as guilty, sir. You're just as guilty. I'll be coming back for you. So many jobless villagers out here. What are you guys doing? Let's just put a lectern here because... And another lectern here because... And I'm gonna grab their beds and just throw them in. Because people need to be sleeping. And this house exploded. I know. That's, uh... That's unfortunate. I'll just... Let's put another one over here. Alright, I don't even know what I was thinking. I'm just gonna keep these two librarian villagers over here. They decided to take the job. Um, two willing villagers, I would love you to stay. I'm actually just going to lock you in here, if you don't mind. 
Yeah, I, you don't really have a say. Sorry. There we go. Okay, let's make you vend vending. Let's make you mending. What do you got? Luck at the C1. That's not what I need. Okay, let's put you here. Nothing. What is it? Nothing and nothing. Both nothing. Alright, this is kind of annoying. You guys are going to accidentally get chopped with the axe. Looting two, not bad. If that was looting three, I actually would take that. Come on, buddy. Infinity. Not bad. For 17 bucks. You know what? While that's out here, I'm just going to do that. Nope. Don't. Oh, shh. No, no, no. All right, so we got ourselves a mending librarian, but we do have to get some emeralds. So I, luckily I got a bunch of sugar cane from that farm. Um, is that it? No. Yeah. Let's keep doing that. I need some emeralds. Oh, that was not enough. I need one more piece of paper. Stingy guy. Stingy guy. Um, I think I'm out of paper now, but that's just enough. We got 15 and a book. Actually, it just went down to 8 as soon as I traded that with him. That's kind of crazy, but so I guess I didn't need to do all that. We got ourselves a mending book, and now we can actually do that with a lot more. We need to get mending on basically all of our stuff. Thank you, sir. That was much needed. Actually, we can sleep. All right, back at the anvil here. We're going to put mending on this pickaxe here because it's what needs to be done. Let's head back up. All right, and we finally got this guy to become a silk touch trader. That's what I'm talking about, sir. Oh, wait, we need to grab a book. Please, please, sir, stay a silk touch trader. Oh, wait. Stay silk touch. Stay silk touch. I gotta go quick. I need one book. Please still be silk touch. Oh, man, I really hope he's still there. What do you got for me? Silk Touch. Yes, I will take one Silk Touch book. I actually might just take uh, another just in case. And then let's lock in your trades. Let's lock that in. I'd like to keep the Silk Touch. Even though your paper trades are terrible, I would like to just make sure you're not a novice any longer. There we go. Just take that. Level up, sir. What else do you got? Knock back two. Eh, that's all right. Sweet. All right, so we got a mending and a silk touch trader right now. Let's go actually back to the enchanting table and see what we can put on our helmet and on another pickaxe. All right, so we're back here again. Let's see what we can put on ya. Come on now. Where you at? There you go. Oh, and breaking three on both. What else can I... Efficiency 4 and Breaking 3, not bad at all. Yes, and then I'll put Silk Touch on ya. Actually, wait, let's see what I can put on my helmet first. Please be something good. Please be something worth the while. Whoa. Did I just use all the lapis? I must have. Let's go back down. Do I have any more? Well, let's, uh... Let's go back down to the mine chest and see if we have any more. I'm pretty sure that there's a lot down here, actually. Um, uh, I mean, I don't know by a lot. Uh, there's probably like 20. There's got to be at least some. Oh, might as well just throw the book on here, too. Sharpness one. Oh, yeah, there's there's plenty. Might as well take all this back up. Um, sharpness one book. Might as well take you. Let's put you where you need to be. Silk touch. Boom. <laughs> Except, oh no, that put me down to 26. I didn't even think about that. All right, well, actually, I'm gonna have to go murder some cows real quick, I guess, in order to get some levels back up. I'll see you guys once I'm at level 30. I'm gonna go smack some cows around. And, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, finally coming back here. I swear we just murdered, like, it had to have been, like, 200 to 300 cows in this game. It was, it was, whew, it was bad. Um... What am I here for? Some aqua affinity? I'll take it, dude. I'll take it. With respiration 3 and unbreaking 3, what a helmet. What a helmet. What a helmet, dude. Actually, yes. That's a great helmet. All right, so we got aqua affinity, protection, fire protection. We need to put unbreaking on these legs. 
Protection three on here. We need to put Unbreaking on both of these. Um, we could disenchant some stuff on the grindstone that's at that blacksmith's house up in the corner of that village over there. So go to Nether. Wow, okay, well, we did that, and that was an experience. Auto Sugar Farm. We can do that. I think we can set that up. We can do that, actually. Yeah. Let's set that up. Enchantment table, we did that. Map area, no. Cleric tower, no. Windmill, we'll do that. We'll do that. Auto sugar farm. I want to I get this top row finished. Let's just do that. All right, and so, yeah, I mean, this is going to be a pretty basic uh, auto sugar cane farm. I got it from the Minecraft survival guide, actually. Uh, Pixel Rift has a great video on it. I'm just going to line up some basic cobblestone, then some pistons and some observers across this water going this way and the water going that way. Eight blocks each down into the hopper, into this chest, which will eventually have a f bunch of sugar cane in it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to build it real quick. I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to build it because I'm just going to put a link in the video on um, Pixel Rift's video uh, specifically on how to do that. But yeah, um, see you when it's built. All right, so this is pretty much it. You just got eight going this way and eight going this way. And you got the redstone in the back here. I'll just hop up here for a sec. I'm going all the way across. I don't, I'm pretty sure that's way too much, but I just, I just always laid way too much because with a fortune three, when you're picking up redstone, you just end up with way too much, but you should be able to just do this and that right. Okay. Right there. Yep. Right there. Well, that's why you have glass on the sides here, actually. So I'm going to put a glass barrier around so you can watch it go into the hopper. It should have taken one of them at least. Yeah, so it goes into the hopper, goes into the chest, and, uh, well, let's see here. Is that actually... Is that going in? Yeah, they're going in. All right, perfect. And so let's just, uh... Oh, there's the other one. Let's put a uh, glass barrier around here and then call it finished, and then... Let's just, uh, let's build that windmill, too. Let's just do it all. Let's do it all today. Man, this Optifine just makes the glass look so smooth. So smooth. But yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna basically just go around like this, and like this around the ceiling and the sides, and it's just basically, it's just a nice little farm to have right next to home. So I was thinking this is going to be a pretty nice spot for this windmill right here. Um, yeah, it's going to be facing the sea, so like the wind is basically facing the mill part of the windmill, so the turbine part can turn. It's going to look nice. For this build, though, I am uh, going to put the link in for that, too. It's going to be Fresh Joy's build. I'm going to put his link in for this build. It's a super nice build. I've done it before on my uh, console. And uh, I'm just going to do it here. I just want to see what it looks like in shaders because I just love the build. So I'm going to do it here. It takes a lot of gravel bone meal to be making that concrete. And then also you need some wool. Lots and lots of wool. So, oh yeah, I left that sheep over there. I need to go get the sheep. And I need to build this windmill. And actually, by the time we're done doing both of those tasks, that sugarcane farm over there will have probably made a bunch of sugarcane. So let's, uh, yeah, let's just do, let's, wow, we need to get this done. Oh man, I really hope he's back here. Is he here still? Buddy? No, oh, let's go find him. I hear him. Yes! Follow me, guy. Come on. Let's take you home. I'm gonna take you home, and then I need to find one more of you. You agree? Get in here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, now we need to find one more. There's gotta be, it, there's gotta be one more. And finally, yeah, this took like another five minutes at least. Oh, buddy, come on. But we're finally in here. Get in. What are you doing? Get in, get in, get in. Make more sheep. Man, I really need an automatic concrete maker as well. This is sure taking a while, but also I wanted to show you guys this real quick instead of just pass through this off camera. This concrete with the shaders on looks so just almost like eye burning, eye burningly bright. It is crazy. Just for the reflection of the sun off of this is nuts. Super bright. It's like snow. All right. So the base of this is looking pretty good so far. I mean, I just got to stick the 
bunch of fences going up and the wool onto the fence. I'm collecting wool right now, but I didn't really want to record me building the base of this because it's not too interesting. It's just some logs, cobblestone, some of that concrete going up and fencing along the sides. Again, I'll put that link in the video, but um, I figured I might as well start my like recording myself uh, filming the turbine part because it's pretty high up and if I fall and lose all my experience um, as a side effect of uh, death in the game, then I would like to get that on camera. So, I mean, might as well just start recording again. Um, hopefully I can get more of this wool though. This stuff needs to start uh, getting in here quick. Let's see if there's more over here. There's a couple. Yeah. It's not too bad. So what do we have? We have, I mean, we have 20, we have 84 wool. I think we'll need a little bit more than that, but I mean, might as well just get started. Oh God. Oh my God. Okay. Dude, I am holding shift so hard. Unbelievable. Please let the gun wrenching be over. Oh no, I need to go down. <laughs> Look at this guy. Yeah, so we're checking out the windmill from afar out in the sea. The wind can be blowing, and this thing could be moving. Not really, but it looks nice. I'm really liking the way this looks. All right, so we put flowers around the sides. Uh, nothing really in here yet, but uh, we'll we'll decorate it. Put some bone meal around the sides for some grass. And uh, yeah, I mean, it blends in super nice. I really like this. Put the wool around the sticks, and uh, one heart attack later, and you're good to go. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. I'll put again, I'll put the link in the description for the build for that and also for this one. I did want to remind you guys that um, this is actually not the build that is in Pixel Rifts' video. I'm still going to put the link in there because that is where I learned how to do this, but I kind of just made it look a little bit different. Um, not really the same, but actually, let's see how much we have got. I mean, three stacks almost, yeah, three and a half stacks almost. Not bad. I mean, we it took us like an hour and a half to build that, and then, uh, I mean, we did have to go over there and get that sheep as well. Um, by the way, I do want to get that dog in the next episode, but, I mean, I really appreciate you guys, appreciate, I really appreciate you guys watching this series, I mean, I, I can't even begin to thank you guys enough, I mean, um, if you have liked, um, anything in this series, enjoyed anything so far, just give the video a like, um, give the channel a subscri- a subscribe, <laughs> wow, um, yeah, I mean, I, I can't even just begin to thank you guys enough, uh, I love it, I love making these videos, this is, it's so much fun, um, well, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Till next time.